All right, y'all. So in the beginning of my video, I was recording and then it shut down and then somehow the video disappeared. So as far as the intro, I'm going to just give that real quick and then I'm going to transfer it over to the actual video. So y'all know how we get down. We slice and dice gang. We slice and dice gang. Every video we bring the swords out, we bring in these scriptures out. It's only right we bring our father's truth back out every single time. You know what I'm saying? So get the swords out. Get them out. Sharpen them up real good. Let's do something else today. We do this every day, y'all. Every day we must do this. The Most High God didn't have to do it. But he did. So let's thank the Most High. Who? Our almighty heavenly Father. Why? For allowing us to be here. Ooh. Today. You feel me? Yes, sir, indeed. We got to be thankful, y'all. Now I got to talk my talk because it's possible. I do this every day because you never know. Like you, for instance, you may be tuning in for the first time. You never seen my face before. You don't know nothing about Slice and Dice Gang. But if you subscribe to this channel, I got to let you know what you went for. It's only right. I feel like that's fair just so I don't waste your time. You know what I'm saying? So if you subscribe to Cardo TV, that means you're ready to repent. And we're going to talk about that today. You're ready to repent, man. You're ready to live a lifestyle of repentance. You're ready to really start obeying the most high God. But when I say the most high God, it's only one. It's hot in here. It's only one God we serve. And that's the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The God of Israel. The God of the Messiah. Our Lord and Savior. Jesus Christ. Shout out to the big homie. JC. Mm -hmm. You also ready to grow spiritually. That spiritual growth. That's the real blessing. That word called faith. You ready to keep that strong. Standing ten toes. Standing in own business. All the way into the end of this, man. You got gifts and talents as well. You ready to continue using them, serving other people like you never did before. Making this world better, man. Making this world more positive. You got a whole purpose out here. God brought you here for a reason, right? So basically, overall, if you subscribe to Cardo TV, you ready to be a light in the darkness, man. So if you like the sound of all that, stop playing games and come on over here and join Slice and Dice. Game bars. You feel me? I sure hope so. So now we can get back into the video. We have made it to another trail, everybody. I'm telling y'all, we going everywhere. We going everywhere. We about to explore what the most high God got to offer. So we're gonna be taking these nature walks, man. Enjoying the beautiful creation that God has made for us all while I talk my talk. Right. Yes, sir. Indeed. So today, y'all, we talking about taking accountability. Looking at ourselves before we try to correct somebody. Looking at ourselves before we try to judge somebody. Looking at ourselves so that we can overall become better versions, make certain changes. Right. Being humble. It's all about taking accountability for our actions, y'all. It's important that we do that. The most High God is watching and he knows our hearts. Right. So that's why it's important for us to take accountability and ask the most high God how we can become better, how we can become more like Christ, because that's how we're supposed to live. We human. We're going to make mistakes sometimes. And God knows this. So he looks at us to see. Right. If we are at least trying to become better, to fix our mistakes, to help the next person. Right. It's all about being Christ like and in order for us to live like Christ. Thank you, Holy Spirit. It tells us in Scripture, we got to take the speck out of our own eye first. Right. Before we look at the brother. We got to be honest with ourselves, man. Before we can, you know, move forward in the things that God wants us to do so that we can go ahead in it with more of Christ like attributes. You feel me? But we got to do that honest. We got to do that honestly, man. We got to do that. Being appreciative of the grace that God gives us. Right. That grace and love that God gives us, because that is a, that is allowing us to be able to move forward. Allowing us to grow, allowing us to, um, you know, just become better, y'all. 
because we're human. We're not perfect. The Messiah was perfect. He never committed sin. We're not. It even said in the scripture too, man. Anybody who say they are without sin, the truth is not in them. We have all fell short, right? And God know we human, but we can repent though. We can repent, y'all. And that's also what we're going to be talking about today as far as taking account of accountability for our actions, taking accountability for our sins. We can repent. I said repent. We can repent. Christ gave us that option. Right. Christ gave us that option. All the things that he did and he still got killed. He still got persecuted, died for our sins. y'all. So that gave us that hope that gave us that victory. So it's only right, y'all, that we continue to show this love, that we continue to die to ourselves that we continue to not be a friend of the world, but to be a friend, a follower of Christ. And we're going to talk about accountability. So y'all ready, man? I say, is y'all ready, man? We finna hit this trail. So let me flip this camera. All right. All right. Let's get to it, everybody. So y'all know what time it is. Y'all know how we get down. We slice and dice, gang, right? I'm going to need the swords back out. I'm going to need them back out. We finna get the slicing and dicing. The scriptures tell us in 1 John, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. So this leads to the first point, y'all, that confession. That confession, it acknowledges our sins. It humbles us before God. It allows us to receive that forgiveness and that cleansing, right? So it humbles us. It humbles us before the most high God, y'all. We are we are acknowledging what we're going wrong. It has to start there first, your acknowledgement, your confession. It has to start with your confession. Sometimes, y'all, we may be thinking that, you know, we're still doing the right thing. Sometimes we may, you know, feel like that we're doing nothing wrong. But no, sir, it all starts with your confession. Confession, and that's all about you being honest about the things that you're doing, right? Sometimes, y'all, we do something wrong and then somebody tell us we become upset, even though we already know we did it wrong. We still become upset. It's like, nah, man, we got to change that attitude. If you being honest with yourself, you feeling that conviction, somebody telling you you're doing something wrong. You got to bring it to the most high. Don't argue back and forth. Don't fight with the person. Right. Everybody make mistakes. Don't fight with them. Just bring it to the most high and confess the most high God. He sees everything. Right. So he knows if you're being honest, he knows if you truly coming to him, letting him know what you need help with. I'm telling y'all and I'm going to keep reminding y'all we human, y'all. We human. We do the best we can. And the first step into doing the best that you can is to confess. It's to be real with yourself. Be real with the most high God. God likes honesty. That's the only way we're going to be able to change y'all. So it's just like, don't be afraid to confess. Don't be afraid to confess y'all this is growing you closer to god when you confess your mistakes because he see you really trying to change he see you being honest he see you wants to grow and he will do that for you but you got to come to him with this confession and honesty you know what i mean you have got to come to him with the confession giving yourselves no excuses that'd be the problem y'all sometimes we like to give ourselves excuses so that we can uh you know not have to make a certain change that we're not comfortable with that's just the thing, man. Sometimes you got to become uncomfortable in order to get comfortable. You feel me? So it's just like bring all that uncomfort. What's the word? Bring that feeling of uncomfort, that feeling of guilt, shame. Bring it all to the most high God and release it. Right. You got to let it out, y'all. You got to confess and let it out. So I don't know who I'm talking to. You may be feeling convicted on some things that you're doing. Come on. Bring it to the most high. Confess it. Let him know that you that you know what you're doing is wrong. It has to start there. That's the only way you're going to be able to change. And then don't stop there. Y'all after you confess. Talk to God. Talk to him and ask him ways for you to change. You know what I'm saying? To put you in that position or to put you in more situations where you could uh, work on it. Because sometimes y'all the father, he going to continue to test you. He going to continue to test you to see if you truly change it. Right. See if you're truly trying to make those certain changes to become better. He's going to test you. So you want to pass these tests, man, to make our father proud and to also, you know what I'm saying? 
make yourself proud because I'm telling you, man, once you confess and then you really start to see the changes within yourselves, y'all, I'm telling you, man, it brings you so much peace and joy, so much peace and joy. And then, you know, you get that feeling that you changing, you allowing the most high God to help you change because it's all going back to his glory. Right. Come on, man. You're going to want to just crave to do more things that makes them happy. You're going to want to crave to be more like Christ because you see that those changes that you're making, you see those blessings that it's bringing to your life. Right. So just know, y'all, it all starts with your confession. The scriptures also tell us in Acts, repent and then turn to God so that your sins. Oh, I almost fell. See, I'm trying to read and walk. <laughs> we don't want that. So y'all just look at the scenery as I'm talking that talk. It tells us to repent and then to turn God so that your sins may be wiped out and that times of refreshing may come from the Lord. So this leads to the second point, and that's to repent and turn away from the sin. Repentance is a genuine change, y'all. A genuine change from the heart towards being more like Christ. It's not a cycle. You know what I mean? You can't repent and then go back to doing the same things. It's a lifestyle change. You got to change your lifestyle. You keep going back to the same thing. That means you're really not trying to change. That's not repentance. Repentance. Oh, look at me about to fall. <laughs> repentance, y'all, is when you go into the father and you're saying you don't want to do it anymore. You want to put it down. All right. You want to put it down for good. You don't want to go back to it. It's really dying to yourself for good. You know what I'm saying? We got to do that every day, y'all. That's how we show love. That's how we be more like Christ, staying away from sin. Right. Dying to the world, not being a friend of this world, because if you be a friend of the world, you can't also die to your flesh. You cannot also. You know what I'm saying? Get out of these sins because the world, that's all it has to offer. Everything that this world has to offer, y'all, it keeps people in sin. It keeps people doing in the chase things after the flesh. Right. Nothing good for real. That's why it tells us in the scripture, man, that you can't. It's a, two scriptures. Y'all want to bring out. We can't be lukewarm. Right. Can't be lukewarm. And then the other one is you cannot be a friend of the world. Also, you can't do both. So it's just like you got to be honest and you got to start making certain sacrifices and changes. Y'all, that's the only way you're going to be able to grow. That's the only way, man. So it's just like. Know that God will forgive you. Look at that. Look how beautiful this is. Know that the most high God will forgive you, man. I don't even know if this is a trail, but I'm going to still keep going anyway. I like the way this looks. It's a lot of grass and trees. I might have to turn around. But this is beautiful. So know that the most high God will forgive you, man. He's a forgiving father. He is a slow to anger father, but he got to see you coming to him. He got to see you really trying to change. He got to see you repenting. Since we got that option to y'all, we can't take that for granted. The most high guy, y'all, he got so much love for everybody. He is giving everybody so much time to repent, man. He giving us all time to become better. But a lot of people just not taking advantage of that time. A lot of people not trying to repent for their sins. That's why y'all, when you uh, start to repent, it's certain changes that need to be made. Like some, some people you probably can't hang with no more. Because they doing certain things that is not of Christ. You can't keep hanging with them. Also in the scriptures, you can't be unequally yoked. You trying to repent, make changes, die to yourself. You trying to be a light. You can't be chilling and hanging with darkness, unrighteousness. People who are not repenting for their sins. Can't do both. So it's just like you got to maybe cut some people off. Maybe you got to stop going out to those bars, out to those clubs all the time. Right? I don't know, y'all. I don't know who I'm talking to, but you need to be able to control it. Whatever it is, control it in the sense of maybe y'all drinking, smoking. But sometimes you do too much and then it leads you to sin. It leads you to doing something that does not glorify the most high God. Right. So it's just like we got to pay attention to the things we indulge in. There. Pay attention, y'all. Those things that you're doing, how does it make you feel? Right. What what type of thoughts do you have when you do certain things? What does it make you do? What does it lead to? You got to pay attention. 
because you keep doing the same things, you're going to keep going right back to those fleshly desires. You're going to keep going right back. Hold on, let me get up under here. Ugh. You're going to keep going right back to the things that are toxic, right? But if you make certain changes, if you allow Christ to help you by going to him, telling him that you want to stop doing certain things, come on, y'all, he will do it. But you have to put forth the effort as well. Come on, y'all. Y'all know who we're talking about, man. This is Christ we're talking about. Christ, the one who conquered this world, the one who beat death, the one who was curing the sick, the blind, feeding so many people, you know what I'm saying, who had no food, helping people, healing people, man, providing so many miracles. This is what we're talking about. The Messiah did all these things. So it is nothing that he can't handle. When it comes to the things that you're dealing with. Right? It's nothing he can't handle. And it's nothing you can't do without Christ, man. I'm trying to tell you. It tells us in scripture also. I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. So that means turning away from these sins included. Right? So come on, y'all. It's time to repent. It's time to repent, y'all. We are in the last days, right? So that means we ain't really got no time to be playing games. Right. We ain't got no time to be living evil, it, living wicked. Right. Come on, man. We supposed to be showing love out here, helping the next as much as we can. You know what I'm saying? That's why in the, in the scriptures, it tells us talking about the commandments. The first and best commandment is to love our God. Right. With our heart, mind and soul. But then the one after that, he tells us to love each other. We got to love our brothers and sisters, man. And I'm going to be honest. It's been a lot of uh, arguing. It's been a lot of going back and forth on the YouTube scene. People is not showing love. It's just a bunch of fighting and negativity. Right. And sometimes, y'all, this happens because some people don't like to be honest with themselves. Some people don't like to admit when they're wrong. You have to do that, man. You have to humble yourselves, y'all. That's how you grow. You can't control what somebody is doing. You can't control what somebody else is doing you can only control what you were doing i had heard i heard that on youtube by new breed just to give a shout out he has said that in one of his videos he was saying man you cannot control what somebody else do you can only control what you do right so you may have messed up you may have hurt somebody you may have fell short Right. You can't control what anything that happens outside of that. You can't control it. It happened already. The only thing that you can do is repent. Repent for your sins. Be honest. Be humble. Make certain changes. Right. That's the best thing you can do. And God see you doing it. Right. You can't control everything, but you can control your actions. And that's what's important. Look at this, man. Beauty fell. The scriptures also tell us. I'm going to just stand right here for a second, y'all, just so I can put more focus on where I'm walking so I don't fall and trip. A lot of water over here. But the scriptures tell us, y'all, in Matthew, therefore, if you are offering your gift at the altar and there remembering that your brother or sister has something against you, leave your gift there in front of the altar. First, go and be reconciled to them. Then come and offer your gift. So this leads to my fourth point, y'all. Or my third point, sorry. And that's to seek forgiveness. You got to seek forgiveness, man. Because that's showing God's love. And that shows the importance of restoring your relationships damaged by sin. Right? So sometimes, y'all, we fall short. Sometimes we do things wrong that may affect a certain relationship. Right. And I'm going to tell you, all relationships are important. Relationships are important. Now, me, myself, speaking for myself, I'm alone for the most part, just because I don't really I don't really need no friends. You know what I'm saying? I just like being to myself because I'm much more peaceful that way. Much more peaceful that way. And I can focus on handling my business. I got a lot going on. I don't have time to be hanging with a bunch of different people. But at the end of the day, relationships are still important. Right. Because you never know. You never know when you may need somebody, right? You may have a business that you're doing. 
you may need help with that. I mean, it's all about, you know, just building that trust and building that love. Genuinely wanting to help each other from the heart. But it's not a lot of that going on in this world today. But just going back to what I was saying, y'all, you may have sinned. You may have did something. Can I go over here? That's a lot of water, y'all. I might have to turn back around. But uh, you may have did something to affect a relationship. Come on, man. Now you commit that or not commit, but you admit that you bring it to the most high God. You know what I'm saying? That person may not want to talk to you no more. They may not want nothing to do with you. But like I said before, you can't control what they do. You can only control what you do. So you at least admit what you did to the most high God. You repent. And then, you know, the best thing to do for real next is to just at least seek that forgiveness, man. It's all about God's love, reflect, reflecting God's love when you do that. That don't show weakness, y'all. A lot of people be thinking that makes you look weak. You know what I'm saying? You asking for forgiveness? Nah, man. You're just trying to keep the peace. I am about to slip and fall, y'all. I can't go for it. <laughs> I ain't going, man. You're just trying to keep the peace. That's all you're trying to do. And there's nothing wrong with that because that's still showing your part. Or you just still doing your part out of love. Trying to be peaceful, man. Trying to stay positive. So that you can move on. So that both parties can move on, right? But again, they may forgive, they may not. But you still at least brought it out there. You still at least showed that you wanted to make peace. Right? You told that person, or you admitted to that person on what you did was wrong. You prayed about it. And now you're asking for forgiveness, man. And you never know. That person just may forgive and then y'all can continue to, you know, move forward accordingly. But uh, forgiveness, y'all, that word forgiveness is, is very important to forgive because at the end of the day, y'all, God forgave us. We were forgiven. So we got to forgive, right? Come on, man. We got to forgive also. And that's showing God's love, man. Everything that we do, y'all, should be out of love. And that's how this world becomes better. If more people do things out of love, genuinely from the heart, this world be this world will become so much better, man. I just feel like that, man. If y'all feel like that, put it in the comments. Let me know if you feel the same. If people were genuine, willing to actually help somebody grow, given wisdom as iron sharpens iron, not looking for anything in return. You know, because a lot of that, a lot of those spirits, you know what I'm saying? Be affecting people, man, like that spirit of greed. Right. You just want to continue to do all of these things for money, 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 or just some clout, maybe just something in return. Y'all. And that's the devil, man. Because the devil, he'll take a hold of you if you operate with those spirits and then you can really affect and mess up a relationship that you never know where it could have gone. It could have been great things that led it could have been great things to happen with that relationship, but you wanted to deal with that spirit of greed, right? Pride. All of those things, man, that God doesn't want us operating with. He wants us to operate with the fruits of the spirit, right? Which is love, joy, peace, patience, self-control, all of those things, man. And we can get a lot more things done together as a whole, y'all, as a unit, as believers in Christ. As brothers and sisters in this truth, if we are all operating with those spirits, those fruits of the spirit. Right. Yes, sir. Indeed. The scriptures also tell us. My bad job. One second. It tells us. In James, humble yourselves before the Lord. And he will lift you up. So this leads to my fourth point, y'all. We got to continue to practice humility and take your responsibility for our actions. Right. Humility is very important. Humility is very important because we recognize in our need for God's grace. I'm going to say that again. We recognize in our need for God's grace, y'all, when we stay humble, when we practice humility. We would not be here without God's grace. We would not be here without God's grace, man. So the more humble that we are, y'all, the more we'll understand that it is only God that is allowing us to push through. It is only God that is allowing us to still move forward in life, doing amazing things, receiving so many blessings 
even when we mess up. Even when we sin, y'all, God still, he got so much love for us. He still be blessing us, y'all. God got so much love. It's to a point to where when you sin, you mess up, you fall short. He used that to help you grow. He used that to help you help somebody else who's going through the same problems, the same struggles as you with your sins, right? Come on, y'all. We become better. We stay humble. We grow. We become stronger. We help the next person, right? We help the next person or we allow that to help us just be better human beings as a whole. I'm telling you, man, but you got to be honest with yourself. You can't keep thinking that the things that you were doing is not affecting you. It's not affecting those around you. Come on, man. And then it's like this, too, y'all. You got to continue to be good. You got to continue to show this love. You have to continue to make these changes, take accountability and repent even when you receive. Oh, my bad, my phone fell. Even though you receive backlash for it or you receive persecution for it, y'all, we still got to do that. My bad, y'all. Let me get this camera back together. There we go. So it's like, man, you still have to do it. Not changing your heart just because somebody may feel like you weak. Right. It is what it is, man. You protecting your heart. You protecting your energy. You obeying the Lord. That's that's what you call, man. That's that fear of the Lord right there. Being obedient to his commandments and what he says, what he's telling us to do in the word. Not what somebody else think, not how somebody else feel. If God said it and if it's in his word and that's what we supposed to do, that's what you do. That's why we live this word out, y'all. That's why we repent, take accountability and live this word out so that we can protect ourselves. We can protect our relationships. Right. We can be more like Christ if we do that. We can continue to spiritually grow. And that's where the real blessing is, y'all. Spiritual growth comes when you're reading your word. Spiritual growth comes when you be honest with yourself. Spiritual growth comes when you die into yourself. Right. God blesses you with this. He blesses you with so much wisdom, so much more wisdom in these spiritual blessings. When he sees that you are trying your best to be more like Christ. When he see that you're trying your best to help the next person truly genuine from the heart out of love. Right. Come on, y'all. We will be rewarded for doing these things. It even tells us that in scripture, man, you continue to do good. You continue to do these good works. These works are not in vain. We will be rewarded. But we. But we can't continue to think that. We're going to receive these blessings. We can't continue to think that nothing bad is going to come out of these things, y'all. If we continue to move forward, thinking we're doing nothing wrong. Come on, y'all. This video here is all about us looking at ourselves instead of looking at somebody else, instead of pointing the finger all the time. What about ourselves, man? How can we become better? How can we become more lovable? How can we um, just be better with taking accountability so that we can grow? And change for the better, right? That's what it's all about, man. The scriptures also tell us in Luke. But Zacchaeus stood up and said to the Lord, look, Lord, here and now I give of my possessions to the poor. And if I have cheated anybody out of anything, I will pay back four times the amount. So, y'all, this leads to my fifth point. And this is all about making amends for your sins. You know, like making restitution for your sins. And that shows your commitment to doing right. That shows your commitments to righting your wrongs, taking that responsibility and consequences for your sins, right? For your actions. You got to get through it first. You got to get through that part. Accepting the consequences that happen for your actions, man. And that's how it works, man. That's how you grow, that discipline. And God most discipline. He most definitely disciplines his children. How you doing? He has to, y'all. Because if he don't discipline you in your wrongdoings, how you gonna grow? Go this way. How you gonna make certain changes, y'all, if you don't go through certain things? All right? If you don't receive that punishment or whatever you want to call it for your actions. 
that means you're going to keep doing it. That's just like as kids, y'all. Think about it. As kids, when we was growing up, do something wrong. Parents don't do nothing. Oh, we're going to keep doing that. <laughs> y'all ain't going to give me no whooping. Oh, y'all ain't going to put me in no timeout. Okay. I mean, I guess it's good then. They ain't got to worry about it. No, the most I got, he got to let us go through things. Sometimes, y'all, he got to, he got to come in. And allow certain things to happen so that you can learn from your mistakes. Right. So you can learn from your mistakes so you can really start to take responsibility. For your actions, responsibility for the consequences of your sins, man. So it's just like that's why a lot of the times, y'all, we can't always blame God. We can't always blame somebody else for when something happens to us. Y'all, we have to sometimes Look at ourselves, man. We got to look at our we got to look at ourselves. Excuse me. And whatever happens, still know this. God loves you. He's disciplining you out of love. He's allowing you to go through that out of love because God, he truly wants to see us grow. Y'all, he truly wants to see us happy, full of joy and peace. He truly wants to see us be more like Christ, man. But we got to do that by depending on him. We got to do that by depending on him as much as possible. That's why that's the first and best commandment. Because God can do anything, man. Everything. Everything is possible, y'all, when it comes to the most high God. So do not think that you can't get out of any situation that you're going through because you committed a sin. Don't let those lies of Satan be stuck in your head. Oh, yeah, you messed up again. You messed up. You sinned. You fell short. God don't love you. You messed up. Oh, yeah, that person. That person will never forgive you. Oh, you messed up. Oh, you just messed up that business opportunity. Oh, you messed up. Just all of these lies, man. All of these negative things. No, the most high God doesn't look at you as a sinner. When you woke up to that call, you decided to follow Christ. You truly believe that the Messiah came here, died for our sins. He don't look at you as a sinner anymore. He looking at your heart now. He looking at your actions now, your intentions now. Right. So show him y'all be honest. Show him. That you want to start taking responsibility, that you want to be more accountable for your sins, for your actions. Right. That's how things become better in your life. Trust me. It also tells us in Romans, do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, his good, pleasing and perfect will. So this leads to my sixth point. Y'all, we got to allow God to transform our hearts and minds. The most high God can help you transform your heart and your mind. And that's what it was talking about in that scripture. Right. That's going to help you resist the temptation and walk in obedience to his will. So it's like you trying to stop. <coughs> excuse me. You trying to stop whatever sin it is you're struggling with. You trying to work on certain things with yourself. You know, it may be anger. Y'all dealing with the anger. You having trouble with your anger. You may be having trouble with the corn. Right. You watching the corn. You may be having trouble with the alcohol, the weed. You may just be having trouble with your thought patterns. You just keep thinking negative. You can't stop. You keep you keep worrying about things. All of these troubles, right? All of those can change with the transformation of your mind. Y'all said it in the scripture. You will be transformed by the renewal of your mind. And the best way to do that is through the most high God It's through Christ. Right. That's why we come to him every single time we have an issue. That's why we come to him every time we mess up. We're having a struggle. That's how we grow closer to God. That's how we gain that trust. Because when we see us coming to him consistently and then we see the changes, y'all, I'm telling you. You're going to want to do it that much more. You're going to want to go back to it, right? That's what it's all about, man. And that's why God continues to tell us to depend on him and live like Christ the best way we can because... It keeps us out of those bad thought patterns, right? It keeps us out of overall just committing these sins that is not glorifying God, man. I think I uh, completed most of the trail. I'm about to be wrapping it up anyways, y'all. If y'all like that trail, if y'all like what I've been saying, smash the like button. Talk to me in these comments. I'm going to flip the camera. So, yeah, man, like I was saying, y'all, it's all about. The, tr the transformation and the renewal of your mind. So you got to start by taking accountability for your sins. You got to repent. 
You got to be honest with yourself, man. You got to be honest with God. All of these things will allow you to grow. All of these things will help you change, y'all. It's very important, man. Because like I said, and I'm going to say it again, the most I got, he's giving people time, man. He's giving people a lot of time to make certain changes, to repent, to really start following this righteous side. And as believers in Christ, y'all, we're supposed to be doing everything we can, loving each other, right? Loving ourselves, loving Christ, using our gifts and talents, serving everybody, serving as many people as we can to change the world for the better, making it more positive. Come on, y'all. That's how we're supposed to be living. But how are we going to be doing that as believers in Christ? Being that example of Christ, if we don't look at ourselves, take the speck out of our own eye. You know what I mean? Being humble, knowing when it is okay to admit when you're wrong, knowing when it is time to go to the most high and ask for help. He's here for us, y'all. We got to understand and know that. The most high God can do anything, man. He can help you change. He can help you with your anger. He can help you with that corn addiction. He can help you with your thoughts. He can help you in the sense of you feel like, you know, you messed up that relationship. You messed up that business opportunity because of your sin, your action. Come on, man. He can help you keep the peace. He can help you forgive yourself. All of these things are great. All of these things are out of love, y'all. And that's what God is, right? So let's show that love back. Let's show that appreciation back by being honest, taking accountability repenting right trying to be that light in the world because i'm telling y'all man this world would become so much better just as a whole if people do things truly out of love man but i would throw the scripture out there too the more you continue to do that being christ-like just because of the world that you're living in you're going to be hated for it. but that's why i tell you to keep the same energy in the scriptures it tells us we don't battle against flesh and blood but we battling against the evil out here, the principalities, you know, the wickedness, the demons in the spiritual and high places. So we a spiritual war every single day. We live in righteously. We be in that light, the evil and the darkness, Satan, he's going to try to attack you. But we don't have that spirit of fear. We got the most high God on our side. We got that Holy Spirit helping us along the way. Right. Come on, y'all. It's time to really take all of that. Very serious. Very serious, man. And just know throughout the process of you making these changes, you're human. You're human. You can't control what people do around you. You can't control what happens in the world around you. You can only control what you do. You can only control how you think. And that's the main point, y'all. That's the main point of this video. Controlling what you do. Controlling how you think. Taking accountability. Repenting for your sins. Being more like Christ every single day. All right? And you're strong enough to do it. You're strong enough to do it, man. The Most High God gave you the Holy Spirit. The Most High God is living within you. And I just talked about all of the attributes and all of the things that the Most High God does for us, man. So just know you got that power too, man. You got that power within you. You got that potential within you, but you just got to tap in. You got to tap in. You got to be honest. You got to pray without ceasing. You got to read your word and follow the word. You feel what I'm saying? I sure hope so, Slice and Dice gang. For y'all who's still here, I love y'all. For making it this far, y'all the real ones, man. Smash that like button, share the video, subscribe to your boy. Feel free to support, cash app, PayPal, all in the description. I will highly appreciate that, man. Now I got to uh, just tell y'all one thing. I do this at the end of my videos just to give y'all an opportunity. The real opportunity to say something out loud. You know what I mean? Saying it out loud, putting a stamp on it, receiving a real victory. Ending up in eternity with the most high. That's where it's at. The time is now. Not to force you to do it. Just the opportunity. The time is now. Repeat after me. I believe Jesus is the son of God. How you doing? I believe he died for my sins. I believe he rose from the grave and is now in heaven with our heavenly father. And I want him to be Lord of my life. Get the dogs running around. Now, if you just repeated that, that was the best decision that you ever made. The best decision you ever made in your life. That's a fact, man. You got to keep that energy. The most high God saw you do it. Oh, yeah, he heard that. The angels in heaven. They turned up in heaven right now. It's lit. It's a party going on up there. Just because of what you said. 
The devil heard you too. That coward, that loser, he heard you. But guess what? What I tell you before, you don't have a spirit of fear. So you ain't got nothing to worry about. The best commandment, what I say it was, all you got to do is just depend on God, man. Depend on God with your heart, your mind, and your soul. He got you, right? You got to continue to also use your gifts and talents. Stay on your purpose. Stay focused. Allow God to help you use these gifts and talents. He got you out here, man. He gave them to you. Allow him to help you do it. You got to also meditate in your word daily. You got to feed that Holy Spirit, right? Dying to that flesh every day. We want the Holy Spirit to overflow. That's going to keep you in alignment with God's will the best way possible. Read your word. Continue praying every day. Continue fasting, right? It's going to raise that Holy Spirit. It's going to raise that discernment. He got you out here, all right? So I'm going to tell you again. If you repeated that, I'm so proud of you, man. Keep that energy. You going to get the victory out here. You going to get the victory. Facts. Now it's just three more things I got to leave y'all with, man. That's only right. I do this at the end of all my videos as well. So chosen one, slice and dice gang. Bring it on in. I got a few things for you. Oh, hoo, 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 hoo. Oh, I, I'm gonna need y'all to have a nice. I'm also need y'all to have a blessed. But as far as your blessings, have you asked for them yet? That's all we got to do sometimes, man. Ask God for every blessing that he got for you today. Go ahead. He wants you to receive them. He do. Cardo do, I do, facts, so it's only right that you want to receive your blessings. You feel me? Come on, man. And I got just one more thing for you, and that's to have a B E A. You team day. Yes, sir, indeed. Peace out, everybody. God bless everybody. And continue to take accountability. Start living this lifestyle of repentance. Stay humble. Be honest with yourself. Be honest with the most high God. That's the best way to change. That's the best way to grow. And that's the best way to live a peaceful life, man. Yes, sir, indeed. Come on, y'all. Everybody continue using your gifts and talents, man. No lacking over here. Y'all know how we get down. Continue to pray for yourselves daily, but not just for yourselves. Pray for those around you. Don't be selfish. Prayer works. And please, everybody, let's continue to do everything in our power. Bring in more people. To the kingdom. I'm out you.